right, all right, all right. And I've been teasing you guys here and there with some light sauce. So, you know, to make up for it in today's video, you're gonna learn how to kill someone. <laughs> Nah, I'm just playing. You read the title, you know what we're doing here. First off, I do want to give a shout out to my boy Victor at VFX Victor on Instagram for supplying me with the blood overlays for this tutorial. All those overlays will be down in the description on my pay hip, so go check that out. This tutorial is based off what he did on the S dot focus up video that me, him, and another editor worked on. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, follow him if you guys want to support him. And yeah, let's hop right into this music video. We're in our comp, do have my clip already cut together, so it's just this this one clip right here. This is part of the S dot focus up music video once again. Here is like a perfect scene where he put points the guns to his head so obviously in the actual music video victor has made it where you know his head explodes so this is what this tutorial is based on right here would be a perfect place to make the head explosion now you just want a marker where you want to do the effect you want to duplicate it so this will be the content aware part so on the second layer right here you want to get your mask tool top left right here pen tool and just start going basically on his face Make sure like you get around his face, don't get the gun. And hit M on your keyboard to enable the mask right here. Hit the clock, place down a keyframe right there. Now you wanna track this mask all around, like this whole clip on his face. And um, yeah, so let me fast forward and do that real quick. So now I have my mask over his head. So now you just wanna double check that your mask is secure stuff like that now we're gonna single this layer out by hitting this little dot now what we're gonna do is go to the mask and invert it so only his face will be a black solid now to use the content aware what you want to do is go to the first frame hit b now you want to go to the end and hit n but so basically the work area is only going to be highlighted and this is very important because if you don't then the content wear would be on the whole clip and it will just mess up everything now go down to content wear and if you don't have this go to top left window and then scroll down until you see content where make sure it's checked and it'll pop over here to your right just leave this default now all you want to do is go to the first frame and hit generate fill layer and it's down you'll see it's analyzing in the comp and it's finished now you may see some issues where it's very blurred and see like it's just all messy and mushy now keep in mind this doesn't really matter because the blood is going to cover all that mess so as long as his head like he has no face no nothing showing you're good now the most important part is the gunshot. So first, I do have muzzle flashes as well in my pay hip with the whole head explosion pack. It's free. Just go down there and download it. So now I do have a muzzle flash right here. Now we're going to align this perfectly with where his gun was at. Right there is pretty good. Just like that. And then the smoke is literally aligned perfectly. Duplicate this and do it to the other gun on his other hand so muzzle flash pop doesn't really have to track with him because you're only seeing it for one frame now what we're gonna do is the blood now to add the blood like i said go download that in the folder you just want to put the bloods out and to be honest it's how you want to do it i'm going to show you how i'm going to do it for the sake of the tutorial but you can also use your creativity and have your own you know creative flow with it now it's completely up to you which ones we want to use yeah so we can leave it like that or we can kind of we can definitely fade it so it's not too like crazy on the screen it'll kind of be yeah okay it's so perfect okay so now that i have the blood aligned to where i want it to go a little bit slow as we see here so in order to speed it up we're going to right click time enable timer map and just push this forward a little bit so we have something like this and a little bit perfect that is perfect now let's drag this up to the end so it stays on the screen longer. Yeah, we're also going to use this little one because it just applies well with the screen. Now put this up more on the t like the bottom left of the screen. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to keep these two overlays. I'm not going to overdo it for the sake of the tutorial. Obviously, I don't want to like go crazy on a tutorial. It's just to show you how to do it and how to execute it. But as you see, the two blood overlays, the gunshots, and his head is not there no more. Obviously, you can choose where you want this to go if you want it to go down here. And now, to sell it even more, we're going to add blur. So, what I want you to do is go to your effects and presets and type camera lens blur right there. It should be defaulted. And we're going to leave this at 5. We're going to lower the opacity. Now, the blood on over here. It could be blurred, but I feel like there's no need for it to be blurred. 
and if you guys wanted to get a little more spicy with it you can have like a 3d skull and track it onto his head and it will just look even better but obviously this is the sake for the tutorial now we're gonna add a little shake a little impact editor and here i'm gonna say the main blood effect that you would need to like like really execute this effect is a paid overlay so i won't be adding that in the asset because it's paid i'm not gonna give it up for free that's just wrong if you guys do want to get that yourself it's on footage crates website go get that somehow use money whatever with this tutorial is just to show you how to do it and what you would need if you do find something else it doesn't have to be that exact overlay but if you do find something else you can execute it as well as i did in the tutorial and then in order to put his head back let's just copy and paste this once again let's freeze frame it only this angle of his head now we can just mask it like this just like that perfect let's feather a bit put it to five feather now put it a couple frames beforehand above the adjustment layer so this is his head right here and as you saw in victors he had his head come back as a transition he executed it very well hit p on your keyboard to enable the position keyframe as well as r and maybe scale to so you see we have all the keyframes there we can have it rotated as well and pushed all the way to the top and have it come back like that or we can move it over here a little bit mess with these little lines so we can have a flow just like that enable motion blur and this is what you get obviously you'll put another shake here so let's just copy and paste this see how it looks this is the final product now obviously you can make this a lot better this is just for the sake of the tutorial so then once you get that transition the blood also disappears with the shake and impact if you guys did enjoy this make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe if you're new comment for any more suggestions and i'll see you in the next video